When it comes to migrating to Google Cloud, how do you build connectivity between your on-premises and Google Cloud environment? How do you secure and monitor your apps? Well, stay tuned to find out. Welcome to Cloud Migration 101, where we share migration tips and tricks. In the last episode, we learned about resource hierarchies, access control, permissions using IAM, and the four methods of interacting with Google Cloud services. Today, let's address some of the questions from the engineering teams. For this, let's get Kyle back. Hi, I'm Kyle. Today, we are going to focus on the three main questions that the engineering team will have when planning a migration or landing zone on Google Cloud. One how to connect the existing infrastructure to Google Cloud. Two, how to protect the applications to maximize security. And three, how to know when something goes wrong, which is monitoring. Let's start with networking. Your existing network architecture and application flow will determine how you establish your cloud network setup and how your applications communicate with your existing services. In Google Cloud, the physical network layer is virtualized using software-defined networking you will deploy and configure a network in a virtual private cloud, or VPC. You can run VPCs across multiple regions and multiple zones within regions to support a wide variety of architectures, including backup and disaster recovery needs. You can also use a special type of VPC called a shared VPC to connect resources from multiple cloud projects into a central VPC network. Or you can use VPC peering to connect multiple VPCs across many different projects or organizations. The next question is, once you have a VPC, how do we connect it to your on-premises existing environment? There are three ways that you can do this. First, you can connect over the public internet using Cloud VPN. Second, you can connect over a private, SLA-backed, dedicated high-speed connection using Cloud Interconnect. Or third, you can establish a direct peering connection with Google's Edge network. Typically, you would set up cloud VPNs for testing and development or temporary connections and establish interconnects for production environments or to support the widespread migration of your applications to Google Cloud. The next question that I commonly hear from customers is, I have a firewall that currently secures my entire corporate network. How can I migrate this firewall to Google Cloud? The way that you manage and maintain the security of your systems in Google Cloud can be different than when managing an on-premises infrastructure. We highly recommend you check out the firewall and security features available in your VPC linked below. Google Cloud is designed to support a zero trust security model, which can now be enabled at your organization with our context-aware security and access solutions. As far as data is concerned, Google Cloud encrypts your data in transit and at rest. You also have other options like Cloud Key Management Service and Cloud Hardware Security Modules, depending on your security and regulatory requirements. And there are a variety of options to secure your infrastructure, networks, endpoints, and applications. Check out the links below to learn more about the specific benefits of Google Cloud security. The next question I usually get is, how do my existing monitoring tools work within Google Cloud? If you are using any VMware or software-based system, you can always just lift and shift it directly to Google's Compute Engine or Google Kubernetes Engine and continue to use it exactly as you do on-premises. For workloads running on Google Cloud, you can use a fully managed monitoring and logging solution called Cloud Monitoring and Cloud Logging. You can even export monitoring and logging events easily into BigQuery and run all kinds of reporting and analysis on them. As an example, you can move a workload to GCE, run a new GKE cluster, and set up some serverless functions and have all of those logs automatically sent to cloud logging. Priyanka, where you at? <laughs> okay, let's wrap this up. <laughs> what did you learn today? We learned about VPC networks, connectivity options between Google Cloud and on-premises, as well as Google Cloud logging and cloud monitoring. Want more details? Check out the entire guide linked below. And stay tuned for the next episode, where we will talk about billing, governance, and codas. In the meantime, like, subscribe, and comment to let us know what you want to learn about cloud migrations.